mirror mirror in my hand. I know I'm not the fairest in the land. But am I at least cute? Contest master, my dear friends, that was not an excerpt from a fairy tale, but an actual experience of a boy who did not believe in himself. Every time I look at the mirror with doubt, there's one person to my rescue, my loving grandmother. In her reassuring, caring, and soft voice, she would say, Are thee? You are special, you are capable, and you are beautiful. At that age, I wasn't able to absorb those encouraging words. But I remember clearly, though, were the nasty names thrown at me because I was bullied in my family. During family occasions, I was always compared to my cousins my age, who were much taller, with deeper voices, and more handsome. While I was called dwarf, cockroach voice, and ugly puppy. That broke me. But my grandma assured me that I'm special, I'm capable, and beautiful. From then on, she will dress me up to the nines and constantly remind me, my boy, you are a gift from above. Don't ever forget that you are special. Fine, Grandma. So, I joined the singing competition during high school. It's my passion. It was a challenge for me to share my talent to the public, other than my family. But I decided to conquer my fear and took the risk. I practiced my piece and vocalized well. On the day of the contest, I felt I was so prepared and my intro went well. I can show you the world. Shining, shimmering, splendid. Then, the time when I was about to hit the high snow, a whole new world. Everybody started laughing. The teachers tried to pacify the crowd, but the crowd went rowdy. I hurried down the stage and went home crying. As soon as I reached home, I took the mirror in my hand and asked, Mirror, mirror, am I hopeless? Suddenly, Grandma entered my room and said, Hush, my dear. You are special. You are capable. And you are beautiful. Continue singing, my grandson. Believe in yourself. Let the world hear your beautiful voice. One day, you will win. The following year, I joined again, and this time, I was the champion. Grandma was right after all. I am capable. Fast forward, I was able to land a job in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. I was thrilled to work in a corporate institution. At the same time, humiliated because everyone at work had a big voice and a domineering personality. On day one, I had no choice but to answer both. Ring, ring. Hello, this is Artie. How can I help you? The person on the other line is one. Miss, I'm looking for the new guy employee. Oh, yes, sir, it's me. And he laughed instantly and said, <laughs> Is this a joke? Are you faking your voice? And he hung up. A few minutes later, a man in his late 30s and probably drives a sports car entered and said, are you R.D.? 
Oh, yes, sir. It's me. You look and said. Well, you've got a beautiful voice. But only the voice, okay? Master. 